Good day students, welcome to MathClassroom.com. In this group, we're going to be going over the top common algebra mistakes the students make. Um, this is part one, and we're going to be focusing on the process of um, simplifying expressions or equations that have parentheses in them. Don't forget to visit our website at MathClassroom.com for a wide collection of math tutorials ranging from algebra to calculus. All right, so the way we're going to go over these um, common mistakes is by um, actually carrying out a problem solving process. I'll carry out a step or more, and then your goal is to see if you can identify the error that I made in, in my simplification process, all right? So the first example, we have the expression three times the quantity x squared plus three x minus five, okay? And then the next step, I just multiply. I have 3x squared plus 3x minus 5. So do you see the error that I made here? The error is in the distributive property. I misapplied um, the distributive property here. So let's go ahead and um, label our mistake. So the error from this step to this step is, is the distributive property error. Distributive property error. All right, so what does the distributive property tell us? The distributive property tells us that if you multiply A times B plus C plus D, what is that? Is it AB plus C plus D? No, it's um, AB plus AC plus AD. So you basically have to distribute the number in front of the parentheses with all the terms that have been added in the parentheses, okay? Added or subtracted. So you distribute the number across addition and subtraction. So that's a distributive property error, okay? So this is wrong right here. So let's do, let's correct our mistake, okay? So correct, correct step. All right, so um, how do we correct our mistake? We have three times x squared plus three x minus five. As illustrated here, this three has to be distributed to all three terms. Now, one thing to, one habit to conform to avoid making mistakes is by giving yourself a visual to ensure that you've distributed the number in front of the parentheses to every single term. So what visual am I talking about? You can just use arrows to guide your, your distribution process. So one, two, three. I have three terms in my parentheses. One, two, three. So I should have three arrows to make sure that this number hits every single term in the parentheses, all right? So my answer is gonna become three x squared plus three times three, nine x, minus three times five, 15. And this is the correct application of the distributive property. Okay, let's take a look, look at another common mistake students make, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the mistake first, and then I'll see if you can catch what the mistake is, okay? So let's say we have the expression five minus, let's scroll this down a little bit, five minus, um, five minus two times three x squared plus four x minus two. And then the next step, I have five, Let's apply what I said earlier. Let's put the arrows there, give us a little visual. One, two, three, okay? And I have five minus two times three, six x squared, plus two times four is eight x, minus two times two is four. Okay, so that's the step. Do you see the mistake there, a common error that students make? The error is um, the distributive property again, okay? Let's go ahead and write it down. Distributive property. But what's unique about this one? The sign. Just as you have to distribute the number, the sign that the number has must be distributed also. In this step that I carried out, I distributed just the two, two times three, six, two times four, eight, two times two, four. 
but I failed to carry along the sign of the of the two. So all the, the, the only term that had an inversion of sign was 3x squared, the first term. The other signs remained the same, which is inaccurate, okay? So let's, let me show you the correct um, application here. So for the distributive property, let's say you have negative a times b plus c plus d. If you apply the distributive property, it's going to be negative a b minus a c minus a d, okay? So you distribute both of the number and the sign to the first, second, and third. Okay, anytime you have a negative in front of a parenthesis and you simplify, the signs of all the terms in the parenthesis gets inverted. Okay, so this was positive before it became negative. This was positive, it becomes, it should become negative, and then this is negative, it should become positive. So let's go ahead and um, correct our, correct our mistake. Let's write this down. Correct step. Correct step. So originally we had 5 minus 2 times 3x squared plus 4x minus 2. Let's give ourselves the visual again to make sure that we distribute accurately. 1, 2, and 3. Okay? So if we distribute, we'll have... Um, Five. Now you're going to do negative two. You can um, put a bracket here. Some people make a circle so that they remember that you're distributing just not the two but the negative also. So if I distribute negative two times positive three x squared, that's going to be negative six x squared. Minus two times positive four x is going to be negative eight x. Minus two minus 2 is going to be plus 4. So you see how the signs got inverted, right? So minus times plus is a minus, minus times plus is a minus, minus times minus is a plus. Okay? So remember, anytime you're multiplying signs, if the signs are different, you always have a minus. And if the signs are the same, you always have a plus. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So this is the correct application of assigned distribution. Okay, science distribution. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's see if you can catch what the mistake is. This is another common error that um, students make when carrying out the algebraic simplification process. So we have three times x plus four raised to the second power. So I have this and I say, oh, okay, how about I just, I wanna simplify this completely. And then I said, uh, how about this is equal to, um, wait a minute, we just talked about distribution, right? How about we distribute 3 to both terms there, right? And then we have uh, quantity 3x plus 12, 3 to the second power. And now if I apply the property of exponents here, I'll have 3x plus 12 times 3x plus 12. All right, and then when I work this out, um, I'll, I'll do first outer, inner, last. So first outer, 3 times 12 is 36, uh, 36x, inner, 36x, <clears throat> and then last is 12 times 12, 144. And then I'll say, okay, combine like terms downwards uh, vertically, and then my simplified form will be um, 9x squared plus 72x plus 144. Okay, so were you able to catch the mistake I made when I'm simplifying this expression completely? Were you able to catch, catch the mistake? Well, the error is from this step to this step right here. Okay, and the error is in order of operations. Okay, so it's um, order order of operations. Remember your order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What does this mean? And the order of operations, we know that we can group um, multiplication and division. They are the same in the same hierarchy. And then addition and subtraction. But these two, you have to do do with the parentheses first. Do with the term in the parentheses. 
So x plus 4 cannot be simplified, so we just leave it like that. Next thing, before you multiply, remember distribution is multiplication, right? Before you multiply, you have to resolve the exponent. I didn't resolve the exponent here, and I multiplied first. So what I did is I reversed the order of operations, and I did multiplication before exponentiation. All right, so that's wrong. We reversed the order of operation. That's why we have an error here. So let's go ahead and um, correct our mistake. <clears throat> so um, let me just do it in symbolic form. So let's say we have, for example, we have A, times b plus c to the second power. To do it correctly, you have to resolve the exponent first by squaring b plus c. If you square that out, I'll, do, I'll use a shortcut here. You have b squared plus 2bc plus c squared. And then you distribute the a, ab squared plus 2abc plus ac squared. So you do the exponent first, and then you distribute, OK? So let's go ahead and correct the mistake we made. Correct. Correct application of the order of operation. Next step. So for this one, we are going to have um, 3 times x plus 4. That was the original problem, quantity square. So if we do the exponent first, what does that mean? In our order of operations, we'll have 3 times x plus 4 square is x plus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, and then when we expand this, for, um, distribute, we have first 3x times x, x squared, outer, x times 4, 4x, inner, 4x, last, 16. And then when we um, add it downwards, we have our 3, <clears throat> 3 times x squared plus 8x plus 16, right? Now we can distribute. We are now required to distribute. So if we distribute, remember you have to distribute the number in front of every single term in the parentheses. Form the habit of using the arrows until you're really proficient with carrying out um, the distribution process. And then if we do that, we're going to have 3x squared plus 24x plus 48. Okay? And this right here is the correct answer, and that is wrong. Error here has to do with order of operations involving exponents. All right, let's take a look at um, another mistake, another common error that students make. Um, problem number four. I'm going to solve the problem, um, simplify the expression first, and let's see if you can identify the mistake that um, the common mistake that students make. So let's say we have 2 times x plus 3 to the second power. Now I said earlier, you know what, order of operations, you have to resolve the exponent first before you multiply. So how about we do that? How about we resolve the exponent first? Since we have a parenthesis, um, I just, you know, distribute this power to these two terms right here. Um, so this, this power goes to the 3, and then the power goes to the x. So I'll have um, 2 times x squared plus 3 squared, OK? And then simplify that, I'll have 2 times x squared plus 9. Now I'm done with the exponent. I'm now going to distribute, OK? I'm going to distribute this 2. This is multiplication. In the order of operations hierarchy, you multiply and divide from left to right. So we're doing the multiplication here. So we have um, 2x squared plus 18. And of course, this is wrong. Were you able to identify the error that I made here? The error is, going, is in the first step, from this step to this step. And the error has to do with um, the properties of exponents. Properties of exponents. Properties of exponents. Now, one thing you want to note is that you do not distribute the power over addition or subtraction. The power could be distributed across pro product and quotient, but not across addition and subtraction. Okay? So what on earth did I just say? Well, let's go ahead and go over the example. We have the product property. If you have AB to the nth power, 
you can distribute this power. You have a to the n, b to the n. You notice how this power is distributed to the terms here? That's the product property of exponents. That's good. Okay? Even though you have a quotient also, a b to the nth power, you may distribute the power to um, the divisor on the dividend next. That's fine. The numerator and the denominator, you have a to the n over b to the n. That's good. But when you have addition or subtraction, a plus or minus b to the n, this is not, is not equal to a to the n plus or minus b to the n. You may not distribute n over addition or subtraction. Okay? What does, what does this mean? If you have a plus, plus or minus b to the n, it just means that you have to multiply a plus or minus b to the n how many times? Keep multiplying it n times. Multiply that quantity by itself by the number of times indicated by the exponent. n times, that's what it means. It means, think about it as making copies, okay? So whatever this power is, you multiply this quantity by the number of copies that the power tells you, okay? So this is good, this is wrong. All right, now let's take a look at this example. This, um, in this step, we distributed the power to these two quantities, which is inaccurate. So let's go ahead and correct our error. Okay, so correct step. How do we rectify our misapplication of the uh, properties of exponents? Um, let's rewrite the problem. 2 times x plus 3 to the second power. Remember order of operations. You deal with the exponents first. So how do we do that? x plus 3 squared means that you need to multiply two copies of x plus 3. So you have x plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay? Um, remember the associative property of multiplication. It doesn't matter which pair you multiply first. Um, you still get the same answer. I like to resolve the um, binomials first, and then I'll do, do with the two layers. So if I do that, I'll have two times. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. Um, let's see, we just distribute twice, the first one x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x. If you like, you can put the arrows there if it helps you keep track of what you're doing. This first outer, and then distributing the um, second term, inner last, so plus um, 3x plus 9. Now let's add it downwards. We add it downwards, we'll have, what do we have? We have um, 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9, and then distribute the 2 to all three terms, as we discussed earlier. All three terms distributed 2, and then you're going to have um, 2x squared plus 12x plus 18, okay? So that's that's the correct answer right there. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. And um, please post a comment to let us know what you think about this tutorial or if there are other common mistakes you feel that um, should have been included but were not. More clips can be found on mod.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.